Ah, that was tough. Welcome to my home. I am so excited to have you here. Let me give you a little tour. So right here next to the front door, we have what is currently the kitchen. Places from the 80s and uh, as you can see the kitchen is outdated so we're definitely going to be doing a lot of updating here we have this wall here that actually connects to the dining room we're actually going to remove this entire wall and like pretty much demolish the whole thing and then it's going to open up to this really beautiful kitchen and i'm so so excited we have a lot of plans for this room and it's so bright in here too i just i love it right here we have a little pantry that we're definitely going to keep because i have a lot of shit that i like to store so this will be convenient and to the other side of the door we have the entry closet which is actually quite Quite large. We are gonna do full built-ins here. I want to get like drawers for all of my hats and scarves and now winter accessories because I live in a climate that has winter. And here we have the lovely music intercom. It, you can talk and you can listen and I'm not entirely sure but as you can see it works. Kind of creeps me out. I slightly worry that if I turn it on I'll hear like somebody talking to me that isn't here. So we're gonna get rid of it. <laughs> So here is that dining space that I was referring to that connects to the kitchen. I guess the concept was that they can, you know, kind of bring things through the window, but we're just going to open this up into this huge space because it overlooks the living room, which is my favorite part of the house. It is just so beautiful and open and so bright. So this will all be one kitchen and I am so, so excited. And then I will take you upstairs. I just feel like in the mornings I'm going to come down and I'm going to be on this little landing and it's going to be so bright and I'm just going to be so excited every single day. <laughs> so the first level up we have my bedroom. This, this is it. It is super, super bright in the afternoons. I'm not sure how well it's picking up on camera, but it's the perfect size for me. There is this little bench here that I actually think I'm going to get rid of and instead do a couple of chairs with a little table in the middle. I think that would be cute to like do a little journaling in the morning. And then on this side of the room, we have these three closets that we're actually going to get rid of. We're gonna do these really amazing built-ins all the way to the ceiling. And I need to like figure out how to custom build this so that I can fit all of my clothes because you guys know I have too many. <laughs> and over here inside of the room we have the bathroom. This is going to be the master bathroom and as you can see there's not a lot of wall space for a TV to go and if you watch the vlogs you know I am a big TV fan. <laughs> We're actually gonna move this door over to here to accommodate a television <laughs> and also to rearrange the bathroom. It's like actually a pretty solid setup. We have to figure out exactly how we're going to rearrange it. So this will look nothing like it looks right now. Well, actually, who really knows? One step at a time. But that is the bathroom. And then outside of the bedroom, we have another little set of stairs up into the office. So this is going to be where I work every day. I am so excited to have an office again. There's these beautiful windows and this fireplace that we're going to renovate into more of a modern gas fireplace. It's gonna be really, really cute, I think. And then I'm gonna have my desk in front of the window. At least that's the plan. And maybe a couple chairs on this wall with a gallery wall of photos of things. <laughs> and then we have this closet. It's actually quite large. Lots of space in here. Not entirely sure what we're gonna do with the space, but we have it. And then one more little set of stairs up, we have the guest bedroom, which I think would mostly be like a master bedroom, but I wanted to save myself from doing extra stairs if I didn't have to. So we're keeping my bedroom downstairs. They're the same size, same situation with the closet built-ins. We're gonna completely replace this and do 
the same built ins I'm doing in my bedroom. Yeah, it'll be a little guest bedroom. I don't really think I'll have guests all that often, quite honestly, so that's why I figured, why well, do the set of stairs if you don't have to? <laughs> and we have a little uh, intercom here. Actually, we should test this and see if it works. I feel like that would be fun. And then outside of the guest bedroom, we have the guest bathroom. This we're also going to completely rearrange because right now the setup just isn't really working for me. Like the vanity here with the mirror and the sloped ceilings, it just doesn't really work because like who is short? I'm short, I'm 5'1", and I'm still too short to see myself in this mirror. So, too tall. oh yeah, too tall, thank <laughs> you. So we're definitely gonna do some moving around of things in here. I want ideally like a standalone tub here right under the skylight. I think that would be really, really pretty. So that is the top floor. Let's go down to the living room. Another one of the lovely intercoms all over the house. Oh, I feel like every time I walk down here, it's just happiness. It's so nice. And the room that quite honestly sold me on the house would be this one. Huge grand windows are a huge win for me because I am somebody that really likes light. I like it to be bright and airy. We have this fireplace here. We're gonna actually install a linear gas fireplace with a massive TV because as I've said it, I love watching TV. <laughs> so this is just gonna be like the coziest, most amazing room ever. I plan on having the comfiest couch in the world right over here. And then we have snow currently and I just think it is so cute out here. I'm so excited. We're gonna do a lot of work outside. We're gonna like level out all the space because it's kind of unfinished over here. Do these amazing concrete like squares with grass and hopefully a little pergola and some cute outdoor furniture and maybe built in, what's it called? Barbecue. Okay, hold on. I don't wanna bring snow into the house, but I'm going to do it anyways. And that's my little backyard. I love it. And then last little spot to show you would be the basement. Okay, so this is the garage entry. We have this entry closet here, which we will also do built-ins. I'll probably keep more of my bigger jackets down here, just because it makes it, well, who really knows, honestly. What about that intercom? Another intercom. Then we have a little storage closet here. We have a bathroom, which this was gonna be the guest bathroom. Also, sorry for the furnace sound. What can you do? The powder guest bathroom. It doesn't really look, I mean, it's fine. It's a fine bathroom. No one would complain, it works. Definitely plan on really doing something really cool and special in there because that's where the guests will go. And then in here we have the furnace and fun electrical room. We're actually gonna replace a lot of this because a lot of it is really, really old and on its like last legs. So we're gonna build a wall that blocks it off, including the, what's it called? This is the crawl space. Creeps me the heck out, but if you wanna take a look, it's quite large. Yep, very nice, that's the crawl space. It does indeed creep me out, but that's just a me thing. <laughs> so this will all be blocked off. We'll have this hallway here and then we're gonna have my laundry machines over here and then I hope to fit like a treadmill just because I would like to get into a better workout routine and if I have a treadmill in the house, I think it's more possible. So we're gonna try and figure out a way that the space will work so I can have everything that we need and everything that I kind of would like to need. <laughs> and that is the basement. We do have more storage in here, but like it'll fit a Christmas tree and that's about it. Actually, that's pretty good. And that, is the empty house tour. I am so excited to finally show it to you guys and I cannot wait to get started on all of the renovations we're gonna be doing in here. I just have such an incredible visual for what this is gonna be when we kind of update it. For example, these railings are not gonna be like this anymore. It's gonna be, we're gonna have like black iron and it's just gonna be stunning, a little bougie. Yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys will subscribe and like this video and put on your post notifications so you get notified when we 
get started with the runoffs. Anyways, that's it.